Hi everyone, I am Deepthi George. Samuel Johnson, one of the greatest writers in English literature, whom we call as Dr. Johnson, has once remarked that knowledge is of two kinds. The subject we know ourselves or we know where we can find the information on it. In today's class, we are going to see what are reference books, periodicals and journals. On the basis of use, books are generally classified into two broad groups, such as reference books and ordinary books. The books which are meant for education, information and entertainment are called as ordinary books. They generally cover a fairly broad subject area and the user have to read from cover to cover to gain knowledge about the particular subject. And these type of materials such as ordinary books are issued out of library premises for home reading. Now let's see the second category of books that is reference books. Reference books is a specific kind of publication that has been planned and written to be consulted for items of information rather than to read throughout. It contains facts that have been collected from different sources and organized for quick and easy use either in alphabetical or chronological order or by the use of detailed indexes and numerous cross references. Again, reference books are classified into two that is general and special. The examples of reference books are dictionary, encyclopedia, bibliography, atlases, directory, yearbooks, and so and so. And now let's see what are periodicals. A periodical is any kind of publication that comes out periodically which includes newspapers, magazines and journals. And when we compare between books and periodicals, the main comparison lies in the fact that the information in periodicals is timely, current and up to date than the information which contain in books. There are different types of periodicals such as scholarly or educational periodicals, popular periodicals, trade and commerce periodicals, magazines and e-journals. And among these types, scholarly or educational periodicals are the most important. Scholarly periodicals are basically published by learned societies, universities, R&D organizations, or some reputed commercial publishers. And the most interesting fact is that these scholarly or educational periodicals are better known as journals, which has research findings and are peer reviewed. Each article in journals is a permanent record of the information or research findings about that subject. Now let's discuss about the features of journals. The first feature of scholarly journal itself is its purpose. The purpose of a scholarly journal is to report original and significant research in a particular discipline. These journals are primary sources of information and therefore it is also called as primary periodicals. And the second feature is that articles in the scholarly periodicals are written by researchers, professionals or experts in the field. Therefore it is mostly technical in nature and it cannot be understood by readers who lack the subject background. And here is a third feature that is normally these journals do not carry any advertisements. This will contain minimum advertisements and each issue is consecutively numbered and all issues in a volume have continuous pagination. 
and finally articles always cite their sources in the form of bibliography or footnotes these bibliographies contain references to other scholarly writings too citing some of the examples indian journal of experimental psychology is one of the best example which can be given for a scholarly periodical moreover an education journal publishes regular papers and special issues on specific topics of interest to international audiences of educational researchers the aim of the journal is to help them better understand each other's role in the overall process of education and how they may support each other Some other examples for educational journals are Journal of Teacher Education, Journal of Modern Literature, etc. It is impossible to gain information in the present society without reference books, periodicals and journals. Hope the class is clear and fine. Thank you.